Introducing the all new Corolla. It's been more than nine months since President Obama tapped Guam born Hawaiian Esther Kiaina for the top job at Interior's Office of Insular Affairs. And it's been almost six months since the Senate Energy Committee favorably reported her nomination to the full Senate to replace Tony Babauta, who quit early last year amid an abusive office probe. But there's little sign this week when Kiaina's nod will be brought to the floor. Committee staff expressed some optimism for Kiaina last month, but nothing happened. Majority Leader Harry Reid picked up the confirmation pace for judicial and other nominations after a move controversial with Republicans to change filibuster rules. And now, the number of vacant judicial slots is reportedly back down to the level at the end of the Bush administration. Still, the White House is focused on judicial and high-level cabinet appointments ahead of the November elections, when Senate control could shift to the GOP. Guam Congress Congresswoman Madeline Bordaglio pressed White House officials for action at a Congressional Asian Pacific Caucus meeting last week. The NMI's Greg Khalili Sablon has also urged the post be filled as soon as possible. Former Interior official and Islands consultant Fred Radawagen says with just 31 months left to the administration, it's unfortunate Majority Leader Reid can't find the time to put a non-controversial appointment on the schedule. Radawagen says Kiaina's delayed confirmation has hurt the Office of Insular Affairs and the Islands. When you have acting assistant secretaries by virtue of them being acting they already are limited in what they can do and uh, not only that if they come from another agency they're not as familiar with the territorial issues and they can't hit the ground running. OIA is now into its second acting assistant secretary from other agencies since each placeholder is on loan and time limited. Radawagen is confident Kia Aina, who has long experience working with OIA on the Hill and in the administration, will hit the ground running when she's finally confirmed. But the question is when that will be, and how much time will Esther Kia Aina have to be Assistant Secretary. On Capitol Hill, Matt Kay for PNC News.